Latency is extremely important in conversations with voice AI agents. And I really wanted to be able to measure it objectively so that I could see how different LLM models or different text-to-speech models affected the conversation latency. And the problem is that the latency estimate that we get from VAPI is just completely inaccurate. So I couldn't use that for any sort of those tests. So I decided to build an internal tool for Artillo AI that measures the latency of the AI in a conversation exactly to the millisecond. I mean, I really shouldn't be giving away this tool as obviously you want to keep some things to yourself. But at the same time, the people that will find this valuable would definitely be able to build this themselves. And so if anything, I'm really just saving them some time. In this video, I'll give you the code for the tool as well as giving a brief rundown of how it works, which anyone can find valuable by just looking at how can we measure voice AI latency is solved using code and different tools. Also, I wanted to let you know that I'm currently offering free AI audits. These audits are designed to help businesses find ways to use AI for those boring and repetitive tasks. If that does sound interesting, click the link in the description. Also, I'm not going to sell you on any sort of magic solutions. If I don't think there's any automation or AI that can solve your problem, then I will simply just say that. Oh, and I'm also only doing five of these a week. So if you are interested, then, you know, don't hesitate, basically. Okay, so this is the code I created. It is all Python, and I'm going to be linking this code in the description so that you can customize it yourself. All you're going to have to change is the 11 labs API key and the assembly API key because we are using assembly AI, which is a API all to do with sound. And that's why we are using it for this conversation. First, what I'll do is jump into VAPI and actually create a conversation that we can measure the latency for. So I'm just going to talk to Claire, the demo I created to do with pizza. And basically then we'll take that recording and pass it to my software, to my tool, and then we'll see the kind of output I get. Hello, this is Claire from Pizza Paradise. How can I help you? Hi there, I would like to order some sort of a pizza, please. Great. May I have your name, please? Yeah, my name is Hugo. Nice to meet you, Hugo. Would you like your order for delivery or pickup? Um, I would like it to be delivered, please, yeah. Perfect. What would you like to order? You can choose from margarita, pepperoni feast, or any sides and drinks. Do you have any sort of recommendation? I recommend the pepperoni feast if you enjoy a little extra flavor. It's a customer favorite. Would you like to go with that? Yeah, let's do two pepperoni feasts. And Got wh it. what else did you say there was? We also have Pepsi Max and onion rings. Would you like to add any of those? Yeah, let's add a Pepsi Max and two sets of onion rings, please. Just to confirm, you want two pepperoni feasts, one Pepsi Max, and two onion rings. That is, is that correct? correct? Yes. Let me check the price for you. Thank you, Hugo. Your order is two pepperoni feasts, one Pepsi Max, and two onion rings. Let me check the total cost for you. Okay, so it's bugging out because I don't have the tools on. That's a conversation. That's all we need. And then what we can do is jump into the call logs over here. And then we can see this Claire 12 second long. Let me make sure that this is the correct one. Let's do two pepperoni feasts. And what else did you say there was? Pepsi Max and onion rings. Would you like to add any of those? Yeah, okay. So this is the correct one. So now what I'll do is copy this call ID, then go into the VAPI like API reference, paste in that call ID there. And now I can access this recording URL over here. Copy that paste it into this audio file section right here. Okay, so now the audio file or the like audio URL is in the code. And now we can just save it uh, python main.py and run it. And now this is the program doing its thing. And I've added some print statements so that you can kind of see what is actually going on in the program itself. So first we create a transcript using assembly AI, which also does speaker diarization rization, meaning that it finds two different speakers. So as you can see, we have speaker A, that being the AI. Hello, this is Claire from Pizza Paradise. How can I help you. Then we have speaker B, which is myself. Hi there, I would like to order some sort of a pizza, please. Great. May I have your name? And anyway, we get the entire transcript utterances. And the reason why we have to diarize the speaker is because we are looking for the time it takes from speaker B, that being me, and how long it takes for speaker A to respond, which would be the latency. Because once I stop speaking, then we are waiting and, you know, the latency for speaker A, that being the AI, is what we are measuring. Then what we do is we detect the silences using PyD 
PyDub. So PyDub is a library on Python, which allows you to do a lot of different audio things. And it has an inbuilt detect silences where you can just pass in the minimum like decibel threshold as well as the minimum length of a silence. Anyway, it then just finds the different timestamps of silences. So as you can see here, we have zero, zero milliseconds to 233 milliseconds is a silence. 1789 to 2109 is a silence. And this is much more accurate than the silences we get and the timestamps we get from assembly AI. So we actually then use that PyDub silence instead of the AI silence so that we can measure the silences found. So to calculate the latencies is what happened next. As you can see, latencies between speakers B and A. So latency one, we have a 1,491 millisecond latency. It starts at 8.030. So B ends at 7.050. So that basically means that I stop talking at 7.050 and the AI starts talking at 8.30. But this is using the assembly AI. AI silences. So what we do instead is we match a silence with the PyDub silence. So this is most likely the correct one. You know, my code does pretty well at matching the silences because as you can see, 8216 and 8030, that's pretty similar. And like I said, assembly AI is just a bit off because it's not as important for the silences. So then we actually use the PyDub silence instead. The same happens in latency two. You know, I stop speaking at 12490 and the AI starts speaking at 13350. But we use PyDub silence. So as you can see, the latency latency here 1351 ms anyway we go through all the latencies so there was quite a few because that was a decently long conversation and then we can see the average latency from speaker b to a so from the from me finishing speaking to speaker a starting to speak again was around 1275 milliseconds which if we go into vapi and go into the assistant it predicted a latency of 750 ms via web and we did speak to it via web as you can see but the actual latency was around 1275. Okay, so now what I'll do instead is instead of using GPT-40 uh, mini, which is what we were using for the previous conversation, I'm going to use Llama 3.170 billion, which should be a quicker model. And instead of 11 labs, what I will do is use Cartesia instead. And we will just use this and see if the latency is improved in any sort of way. Hello, this is Claire from Pizza Paradise. How can I help you? Hi there, I would like to order a pizza, please. Before we start, could you please tell me your name and would you like to collect your order from our store or have it delivered to you? Uh, my name is Hugo and I would like a delivery, please. So, you'd like to place a delivery order, Hugo? That is correct, yes. What can I get for you today, Hugo? We have a variety of pizzas, sides and drinks. Don't, would you like to order one of our specials or something specific in mind? I would like two pepperoni feasts, one margarita and two sets of onion rings as well. So, to confirm, you'd like to order two pepperoni feasts, one margarita, and two sets of onion rings. Is that correct? Oh wait, no. Get rid of the margarita and add a Pepsi Max instead. So, to confirm, you'd like to order two pepperoni feasts, two sets of onion rings, and one Pepsi Max. Yeah. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. Let me check the price for you. The total cost for your order is pound 43.53. Would you like me to proceed with the order? How much would it be? Let me check the price for you. I'll just check the price for you again. Okay, so like I said, we don't have any tools, so it's going to bug out. But now we can go into the logs of this one. Uh, we're going to have to refresh the page so that we get the new logs. Okay, so again, I'm going to copy the cool ID chuck it in here send okay so i grab the recording url and i'm gonna chuck it in here so that we can see if the latency is any better with a different model provider so i'm gonna run it now this code isn't perfect the way it works is like i said we match the silences and based off that we measure the latency you know there are moments where the vapi agent will even interrupt you which could really lower the average of the conversation and we should be able to kind of remove outliers but i don't do that because you know it is not an easy task to do removing big outliers this time as you can see we have a latency of 1538.17 which is actually high latency than when we were using 40 mini which you know definitely could be a thing because 40 mini is a pretty fast model and we did use cartesia instead which should be quicker um, but clearly in this conversation on average it wasn't any quicker yeah so this is the code i'm going to be exporting it and sharing it in the description the only thing you need to change is in the dot env file right there you're gonna have to add your own 11 labs api key and assembly api key um, as this is part 
of the tools we're using. We are using the um, assembly API for the creating of a transcript. Oh, actually, we're not using 11 Labs API in any way, so we don't need that because before I was, but now we're not.